eine Freude ist. What did you just say? I said, good day, I'm Justine. Do you know what Schadenfreude is? Do you know what it is? No, I don't. It's actually a German word that's being used in pop culture a lot. It means joy at other people's expense. So you might hear it on TV or somewhere. So today we're going to learn about culture shocks and language differences. For example, in Australia, we don't pronounce ER as ER like normal people. We actually pronounce ER as A. For example, Peter went to the shops to get some water instead of Peter went to the shops to get some water. G'day, I'm Brendan, and here are some of the differences in English that you'll find in Australia. Afternoon becomes Arvo. Sandwich becomes Sanger. Mosquito becomes Mozzie. Sunglasses becomes Sunnies. And sick days become Sickies. A lot of terms are borrowed from other languages as Australia is such a multicultural country. But some terms are fair, dinkum, true, blue, Aussie. Like bloke, bogan, or duvalaki. To say no, we say, yeah, nah. To say yes, we say, nah, yeah. I'll leave you with this example of a traffic report that everyone in Australia would understand, but would sound completely foreign to anyone outside of Australia. G'day mates, if you're hoping to get home in time for tea, maybe grab a Sanger for the road and shoot through early, because traffic is chockers due to everyone slowing to take a sticky beak at the bingle caused by a car chucking a Yui near the servo just outside the big smoke, where Ambos, Fireys and Coppers are in attendance. Drivers have had a gutful, so be careful on your way home to avoid any close shaves this Arvo. That's it for me and the traffic chopper. Hooroo! So that was pretty interesting. So I hope you've learned a lot today. Again, I'm Chrissy. I'm Justine. Tell us what you think in the comments. And for more awesome features, go online to 25 on Digital Next. Bye!